So today, rookie premieres are live, and there's three players that everybody would want on their team. If you guys don't know, I will receive one today, and at level 10, I'll receive another free rookie premiere. But today's video, I'm going to show you guys who I get on my team and who I pick out of the three. And also, too, guys, don't forget, when you guys reach level 10, you guys do receive yourself a free rookie premiere. So let me know in the comment section who you guys going to pick up, man. If you guys have that one free choice. Who you guys are gonna pick up and why? If you guys are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. We're on the road to 300 subscribers. We're so close. So if you guys are new here, welcome. Don't forget to follow me on all my socials. Don't forget to show this video some love and let's jump into it. So you guys can see it on the screen. I'm gonna tell you guys right now. If I knew rookie premieres were gonna be this good in Madden 22, I would have actually done it in Madden 21. But if you guys don't know, every single year for rookie premieres, they were all horrible, man. They weren't even worth doing. Going from man 20 to 21, I had Chase Young. Guys, he had one of the worst stats in the game. Yes, he was a free player, but his upgrades throughout the year were horrible. So if you guys didn't do all the stats and everything required in man 20, it is unfortunately removed out of the game. So you guys had to do it within the moment. But if you guys did, congratulations because you guys are getting a lot of free players. You guys are getting solid players. You guys can make a lot of coins on. But like I said, guys, I do have one collectible, and I'm going to be adding it to the ASICS overall rookie premier player, one out of the four training value, and it's a nat overall. But opening the pack, let's see who we get, guys. Like I said, guys, I'm going to give you guys my top three players that you guys have to get. And these are the top three players that if you guys have a chance of selling, sell them, because they're going to be going for a lot of guap, a lot of coins. First player, let's see who we're going to get. Trevor Lawrence. Look, if you guys don't have a quarterback, get Trevor Lawrence, man. Get Trevor Lawrence. Comparing him to Patrick Mahomes, he's 86 overall. Patrick Mahomes is an 89. Now, obviously, right now, the meta is Josh Allen. That's who all the pros are looking at, and that's who they're running at at quarterback. But looking at the throwing stats, obviously, for 86 overall, Trevor's not going to have the best stats. But for right now, that's not a bad quarterback to pick up if you guys don't have one. Our second player, guys. Man, dude. I'm not sure if he should be our second player on the list of top three or number one. But Jamar Chase, the fastest wide receiver in Madden Ultimate Team. Now, we all know this. This is a fact. He's the fastest wide receiver. And we all know, early on, even though it's a new game, speed is the meta, right? Speed kills, especially right now when zones are broken, guys. It's so easy to score a touchdown. Yesterday, I lost a game just because my opponent had three streaks open, drive after drive, and scored a touchdown. Right now, guys, I'm telling you, it's the Right now, it's the easiest way to play Madden. It's one of the most broken ways to play Madden. But if you guys do have a chance to get a free player, maybe one or two, Jamar Chase has to be on your team. And our first player that I feel like everybody should have, it's kind of tied, guys. Right, Jamar Chase can be number one. Cal Pitts can be number one. I will give you guys a defensive player to pick from. But Cal Pitts, man, he has the speed. I don't know what's up with these rookies, but them and their speed makes them worth it. I already said it a million times, man. Speed kills. Once again, this right here, this play right here will be on every single professional player's team. If you guys don't know, this weekend there is a tournament, and I won't be surprised if I see him on everybody's team. 88 speed. One thing I really got to say, I mean, his catching stats aren't that bad. 84 catching, 83 catching traffic, 85 spectacular catch. Can't really go wrong with him. And you guys can see right on the screen, this is what Kyle Pitts looks like when I add him to the lineup. Like I said, I don't have a God squad, but overall, guys, my team's not that bad. Let me know in the comment section down below. Who would you guys go with? Did you guys get an offensive player, a defensive player? I want to hear your thoughts. I want to hear who you guys are going to be going with for your top three or top two free players. Let me know in the comment section. So overall, guys, let me know who would you guys go with for your free rookie premiere. Either you guys got one from last year's you know, collectible or you guys reached level 10 and are going to get a free player. Let me know. Me personally, I went with Kyle Pitts. I need a tight end. I need my tight end that can get open, man. This whole time on head-to-head, -head, my tight end can't even breathe, can't even get open. But Kyle Pitts should change that. So let me know in the comment section down below who you guys go with. And also, too, guys, if you guys are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. We're on the road to 300 subscribers. So if you guys are new, welcome. Don't forget to follow me on my socials. Don't forget to show this video some love. And I'll see you guys on the next one.